what should you keep in mind when you're building avatars? Writing with avatars in mind requires a thoughtful approach that starts with a clear understanding of your learning objectives. Before even thinking about the avatar itself, it is essential to sit down and clarify what you need your learners to achieve. Remember, any avatar can help you meet these learning objectives, but your choice of avatar will significantly alter and influence the learning experience. For example, let's take a learning objective like identify and resolve issues with lab safety. Now this objective can be achieved through various avatars, each creating a different learning scenario and experience. Let's say we use a mentor or a guide. In this scenario, the mentor might be looking to hire a competent technician and knows all the answers. This interaction would be structured around the mentor guiding the learner through lab safety protocols, providing feedback, ensuring they understand the critical points. Right, so this is an approach which could be comforting, supporting, especially for new learners who need clear guidance. Now, instead of this, if I use a companion avatar, now in this case, the interaction could be something like the companion needs your help to solve lab safety issues because both of your jobs are at stake. Now, this will create a sense of urgency and partnership, encouraging learners to engage deeply and work collaboratively, right? Now, if instead of all of this, I use a rival avatar, I could introduce a competitive edge. Maybe the rival is trying to sabotage you and you need to identify and resolve lack safety issues to succeed. This would be particularly motivating for learners who thrive on challenges and competition. There is an element of excitement, right? Uh, because learners have to be more diligent in their, more thorough in their learning process. Now, finally, if I was to use a protege avatar, now the protege needs a little bit of help from the learner to understand and resolve lab safety issues. We could foster leadership and teaching skills because learners themselves are taking up a mentoring role, right? In comparison to the protege avatars. So it builds confidence. So although the learning objective remained the same in all these scenarios, the story and the experience built around it changes entirely based on the chosen avatar. So it might be helpful to create a table outlining different avatars, potential stories they can bring to the life and then see which one you wanna use. And you can then visualize, right? What each avatar can uniquely contribute to and then choose one. So in summary, start with clear learning objectives, consider how different avatars shape the learning experience and then pick one to create and enrich the overall e-learning journey for their learners.